Hey, Sirhan, how are you? How was your day, Sirhan? I'm fine, thank you, teacher, and you? Pretty good. The same, normally, just working like always. Okay. How was your weekend? And, and the weekend and Saturday and Sunday, I'm working on the freelance works. And Tell me again, Sigo. Mm -hmm. Freelance work. And then 
mm -hmm. and stay with my family and see TV and, 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 the, and, and the saying the word is coach potato. Ah, yes. <laughs> and you, teacher? The same, just working on Saturday all day and then doing homework and just finishing the things on Sunday and spending time with the family. Okay. Do you like the series on Netflix? Um, actually, no, I don't watch too much Netflix anymore. I watch, okay. I watch HBO. HBO. Uh -huh. Do you do you do you want HBO streaming? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. why? Is it the best streaming? Yeah. For the series for the, I, series I or like the movies. It. Exactly. I like it because it has a lot of a, a lot more modern series. Yes. Do you like more series? Mm -hmm. Yes. I I too I too. And what's your favorite series? Uh, my favorite series for this moment is Better Call Saul. Ah, yeah. This 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 is the best series for me for this moment. And and in Netflix is Strange Things. Mm -hmm. the, I only saw the, season one of Stranger Things. I didn't see the other. Only I only saw season one. The, I recommend her for the series. Okay. Okay. And the HBO, I like it. Uh, Broke Work Empire. Uh, Do you see him? I have. I saw season one of Board Empire. Wow. Uh, this is series is very, very interesting and very, very exciting. Mm -hmm. In this moment, I am watching a Game of Thrones again. Again? Yeah, I like Games of Thrones. I'm good. I began the series again. Do you like the last uh, season for me now? No, no, no but, but the other seasons are good. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. But the last season is now. Uh, for me, it's no, no compared to the, the past season. Mm hmm yeah that's the problem <laughs> okay teacher. all right well as you can see we have a lot of people here so we're going to get started okay uh, guys we're going to start in unit two we're going to start off by reading the objectives milton can you please read the objective okay teacher good evening good evening uh, to one point, lesson objective. By the end of, the, of this season, participants will be able to, pra to practice using past model and present model of obligation. Okay, so we're going to use past models. Do you remember what are past models? Past model. model. Yes, models. Let's start with those. We're going to watch a small video to help us remember, and then we're going to practice using it. Okay. Hi, we're about to study past models and phrase and models of obligation. Stay and watch the explanation. Past models and phrase and models of obligation. Should have, was supposed to, had to, I needed to all describe obligations in the past, although they sometimes have different uses. I should have stayed home and studied. It was a good idea, but I didn't do it. I was supposed to be studying this weekend. It was required, but I didn't do it. I had to wear a uniform. We were forced to do this. I didn't have to go with my friends, but I did. There was no obligation. I thought I needed to have more clothes. I thought this was necessary. Pass models and phrasal models. Should have is followed by a past participle. 
whereas was, were, supposed to, had to, didn't have to, I needed to, are followed by the simple form of the verb. Had to describes strong obligation in the past and suggests there was no choice. I had to water my plants. Was, were, not supposed to suggest an expectation that the action was required or prohibited. It is comparable in meaning to wasn't, weren't allowed to. He was supposed to graduate last year. Should have suggests that the action was advisable, but was not done. Should not have suggests that the action was not advisable, but was done. He should have learned English before. Needed, did they need to, suggests that an action was necessary, but there was choice about doing it or not. She needed to exercise. Didn't have to means that there was not obligation to do the action. They didn't have to wake up early. Complete the following sentences with your own information. Then, compare your answers in class with a partner. Okay, so let's take a look at the most important... We're forced... They gave a lot of explanation, but let's make it easy. We use different models. If you want to use the models in the past, you just use have to, have. So you can say could have, should have, must have, uh, needed to have. You can use all of the words with have and the models in the past. Now, it's easy when we think about it like this. Should is your opinion. Supposed to is expectation. Had to is obligation. One more time. Should opinion supposed to expectation had to obligation is that okay yes okay nobody says anything so let's take a moment so when you use the different words if you say in the present i should study this is present. If you want to put in past, you're going to say, I should have studied, okay? The same for the others. Should have, could have, must have, okay? We can also use the word had, d, d, had in the past with the verb. I had to, and then the verb, what was the obligation in the past? So what are we gonna do <clears throat> with our partners? We're gonna do 2.2 here. Just read the sentence and choose which is the best answer to those. What does it describe? What is the meaning? You ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. Let's go. Just a few moments.
Okay, let's take a look at the answers. Number one. Thank you. Um, What's the answer? I invite them. them. Number two. I yes. invite them. Yes, I invite them. Okay, everybody repeat. I, I invited. I invited them. Correct, invited. I invited them. I invited okay. them. Number two. You told someone. You told someone. You told someone. Number three. We were prepared for the test. Okay. Number four. Jane was, Jane was to rude me. to me. To me. Okay. Hey, very good. All of those are correct. Any questions? Yeah. No. No? No. Okay. So in this moment, we're going to make our groups and we're going to talk about regrets. The regrets are things that you wanted to change. These are regrets. Okay. So think about maybe an activity, an event, something. As an example, if I, or um, if I had gone to the party, right, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have met my wife, okay? Or I could have, I could have met the favorite movie star. That's a regret. How do we change it? Have is in the past. Could have, would have, should have, might have, all of these help us in the past tense. It's okay? Okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. So remember, you use have with the motto to make it the past tense. Think about your regrets. What do you want to change in your life? What would you like to be different? Okay? Okay. So with our partners, we're going to try using those grammar tenses.
Okay, guys, any questions? Teacher? Yes. I, I should have, you say, is, is the opinion. Correct. I suppose is the expectation. Correct. And I have a due obligation. I was correct. When when your intonation is possible that you understand about the 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 topic about I I can say. I didn't understand your question. Uh, for example, uh, teacher, I have I have. I finish uh, my my career last year. Okay. okay. The intonation, I but uh, when it the opinion, I I should I should have B B is good. I should I should have B my career. No no no. It's only I should have finished my career. I should have finished. I should have finished. Mm -hmm. I should have finished my career uh, uh, because it the intonation. I say I should is more slowly. I had a more 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 fuerte intonation. No, no, no. The same. Not only, necessary. only. Uh -huh, not necessary. Only that uh, should is the your opinion. Had to is the obligation, and supposed to was the expectation. Uh, so, okay. For example, for the pandemic, I was supposed to finish my career last year, but no, because the class is closed, I'm going to finish this year. That is the example. Was supposed to is expected. I should have finished is I didn't continue my studies. I stopped the university. And now I think in the past is bad decision. This is I should have. Ah, okay. I should, mm -hmm. I should have. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Good. Any other Thank questions? You. You're welcome. Sure, I have a question. Yes, Sergio. Um, if it, it is correct that I um, understand that always I have to use a past participle firm with the verb uh, when I use the, the structure I should have, 
plus past participle verb. Correct. It's always, always, that's the rule. Yes, all, all models. Could have, should have, might have, may have, must have, all verb past participle. Always past participle. Okay, mm -hmm. teacher, thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions? Okay, let's continue. Marielos, Teacher, read the instructions, me. the objective. Okay, I have a question, teacher. Ah, yes, Marielos. Okay, when you use, I had to, the, uh, okay, the, the verb is an uh, uh, infinitive. Correct. Ah, okay, okay. Thank you, teacher. You're okay. Welcome. Um, 2.3 lesson objective. Yes. In these sections, participants participants will learn and practice using verbs that go with problems. Okay, so we're going to learn how to describe things with problems. Welcome. I will give you a list of verbs that we may use when talking about problems. Try to find the synonyms for each. Recognizing problems. These verbs are often used to talk about problems. Aggravate a problem. Avoid a problem. Cause a problem. Deal with a problem. Identify a problem. Ignore a problem. Run into a problem. Solve a problem. Okay. Look at the following picture. Type two. First, do you understand those vocabularies? Boy, cows, yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, listen one more time for the pronunciation. Recognizing problems. These verbs are often used to talk about problems. Aggravate a problem. Avoid a problem. Cause a problem. Deal with a problem. Identify a problem, ignore a problem, run into a problem, solve a problem. So, Look at the following picture. Type two sentences using any of the verbs previously given. Okay, so now with your partner, you're going to look at the picture and describe the situation. What is happening? What is happening in the picture? You ready? Something, something is is it burning in the in the stove in the stove? Okay, or, I don't. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, no, no. That's good. Now the idea is, remember, Frank we want to use the vocabulary to talk about the different problems. So when we look at the picture. Man is ignores what problem. Uh -huh. Look, a lot of problems. They ignore the problem. The yes. raindrop keep falling in, your, in her, in his head. Uh -huh. And he just ignores the raindrops, correct? Yeah. Yes. He ignores, he ignores the problem or he doesn't deal with the stove, things like that. So right now with your partner, look at all of this and you are going to create a story explaining the problem and why. As an example, he, he ignores uh, the problem of the, the water on his head because he can't feel anything. He didn't take a shower today and he wants to save money by using this water. Okay, whatever. You and your partners are gonna create a crazy story about the picture. The two, you and your partner, crazy story about the picture. Describe the problems and what happens. It's okay? It's okay. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at some of the words that maybe you need. 
Okay. How do you say gotera? Licks. Correct. Good. Okay. Now, just like that, if you don't know, ask your partner. And with your partner, use the vocabulary and create the story. Remember, crazy story and the, the situation. You ready? I'm ready. Okay.
Okay, let's take a look. Which group is going to start first? Okay. Go ahead. Okay, he is noted for the over is burning. Yeah, the story, the story, another sentence. Go, go, go. Hey, in order for the open story because it's interesting for the watch TV uh, all day. That's it? Yes. Okay, all right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for making it. Remember, the idea is you spent a long time with your partner, create, create, create the stories. What happened, what's going on? He's very focused in the game. Good. Okay. The next group. Who's the next one? The next one. I don't know. Maybe Katya and me. Okay. Yes, yes, Sergio. You can read, please. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let me see. Okay. Uh, story. Poor man is getting watching TV, watching a TV show. That's the reason why he ignores a few problems in his house. There is a leak in the roof. He aggravates the situation, putting no attention on it. He should avoid putting too many dishes in the sink. Additional to these problems, some food is burning in the oven. So he could solve that problem by using a smoke detector. <laughs> Only that. Hey, good job, Sergio. Good job. Nice work. That's a complete story. Good. Okay, who's next? Who's next? Hi. Okay. <laughs> I think uh, this is not his house. He is in a neighbor house, maybe. And someone invited by invite him to watch the, the, the game. Maybe it's the final game. And he only ignores the problem because it's not his, his house. Ah, good, good idea. Okay. It's not his house. He doesn't care. Okay. Good. Who's next? Teacher. Yes. It's probably he, he, he is uh, very sick and then uh, he is no uh, problem because it doesn't matter. He, he probably uh, he live alone. He is single or broke about the relation, relation falling in love. And then uh, it doesn't matter the uh, burning, the burning uh, links, uh, the problem, what you did. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Milton. I got it. I got it. It's just a vocabulary. Okay. So it, he's in a relationship. He broke up. He broke up. He broke up. Uh huh. Okay. Broke right. up. Okay. Yes. And or divorced. Or he got divorced, correct. Or he got divorced. Mm -hmm. No, teacher, divorce <laughs> he look is very, very happy. <laughs> 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 All right. So this is the idea. Good job, guys. All right. So now we're gonna go ahead and continue. Okay. We're going to use with our partners. What are the things? Let's take a look here. Yes. Mm -hmm. Sirhan, can you please read the instructions? Okay. Instruction. Read the following sentence. Notice the word of frames which are breaked. Replace the using the following verbs. Aggravate, abide, cause, deal with, identify, ignore, roll into, so, okay. So with your partner, you are going to complete the eight sentences. And here is the definition. You have to select which is the correct word 
that is this definition for his problems? Only, 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 only the word. Only the word. Only okay. the word or, or phrase if it's two. For oh, example, yeah. here is two words, right? Deal with, with, deal with. or run into. Run into. Only, uh huh. Only okay. the one that is correct. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. All right. So with your partner, now let's see if you understand the different vocabulary.
Okay. Let's try off. Number one, what do we have? Uh, in, in or? North. Yes. North. Ignore. With this. Okay, ignores. Good. Number two. It is identified. Identify. Identify. Okay. <coughs> Identify. Number three. Deal with. Deal with. Deal with. Deal with. Deal with. Good. Number four. Our bait. <coughs> Number five. Sorry. Huh? I don't know why it's. With the G, but did I forget the G? I would advise you to do the D. Number five. Boy. 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 Good. Number six. Ranking top. Runs into. Runs runs into. Runs into. Okay. Number seven. Solving. Solving. What is it? Solving. Solving. Wait. I am. At solving. Oh, yeah. Okay. And number eight. Process. Okay, let's take a look. We're doing pretty good. I think there you go. Causes, solving, runs into voice. a voice. S, a voice. S. There we go. Aggravated. Aggravated, yeah. Aggravated. No S, past tense. Deal with and identify and ignores. Pretty good, only the final sounds, the ones that we have. Are there any that are not clear? Teacher, I have I have a question. Yes. Uh, in the number four, I would like to know why uh, it's an in a past participle uh, the verb, because I understood that Jill don't want that when it say it says Jill don't always make his prayers. I suppose that the, uh, the right answer uh, was Jill don't always aggravate his problems worse. It's correct. Is with S. Is actually both answers are correct because always is a routine. So we can use with S or it was a routine in the past and we use with ED. But the S is correct because it's always. Because why, excuse me? Because it's a routine. Always when it's a routine, you can use S. Always takes, always goes, it always it washes, it's okay. If you use ED, is that this was the routine in the past. Oh, our routine in the past. Correct. Mm, okay, okay. Okay, teacher. But the verb okay. say makes, <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. the, the, Which the is, should be. question is present. makes. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, yes. That's why it should be in the present because it says makes, no made. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions for the other ones? Not teacher. Not teacher. Okay, great. So in this moment, we're going to make our partners and we're going to talk about how the problems that we have and how we solve the problems. Problems at home, problems in the office, problems in life. What are the different problems that you have and how do you fix those problems? Or maybe you don't fix. Maybe you ignore. Maybe you aggravate. Maybe you... Uh, different situations, yes? Okay. So, the problems that you have 
and what do you do? You ready? Yes. Okay, guys. Great job. This is the idea. Tomorrow we're going to practice using this vocabulary, using the models in past, describing problems, and giving solutions to the different problems. Tomorrow also we're going to practice asking and answering our partners. For example, oh, I have a problem in my job. What can I do? And my partner is going to tell me different situations also. Yes? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, teacher. Great. Yes, teacher. All right, guys. Have a good night. I see you guys tomorrow. Thank you for connecting. Okay, see you tomorrow, night. teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.